We just got the view. Oh my gosh. I just saw a big old ball. the year I was finally going to kill an elk. I had seen elk in this area the last two years, but never got close enough to get one with my bow. I headed out mid-August to set out trail cameras across the mountain. This video is starting early September, where my plan is to just pick up trail cameras and plan my mid-September hunt. Let's just say I didn't need to pick up my cameras to find the elk. Let's see how it goes. There's a big old bugling bull, right? He's got to be 500 yards over on the next finger ridge over. Just went over, but got back on my crap back up and see if I can head him off. So the top one, the top one is a bull. Oh man. I think this is going to end the portion of the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed that footage. That was screaming bull, four cows. Oh, I think he's my number two bull. I think I because it called him um, field goal or something like that. And then uh, Megatron is the one I saw, but on this ridge, on the same ridge. But he ended up busting me. That the sun was in my eyes. You could hear him. I mean, you saw the footage, so. It's just nuts. All right, let's get out of here. Let's go check out the footage on the cams. Alrighty, fam. It's morning. Uh, about 6:20 right now. Not super light, but uh, got some breakfast going. Have some oatmeal and. Uh, Get some, get recharged and ready for a little hike up. Um, I was looking at my maps, it's about a mile in. About oh, 1,000, 1,500 foot elevation gain, so it's gonna be a good one. Gonna get the lungs pumping, the legs pumping, so I'll keep you, keep you along, mostly on the GoPro. Um, 
I don't know, I'm just gonna focus on the hunt and try to capture it as well, but mostly focus on killing an animal. So stay tuned. All right, well, we're almost to the top. As you can see, the sun's come out. Um, no bugles, no sightings of elk yet, but um, I guess there was there was that one bugle at the bottom. I think that was another hunter. It could have been an elk. We've had cold weather the last two days. It's rained and then snowed at peaks over 9,000, I think. So, <clears throat> fall slash winter is definitely pulling through so we're gonna go up the mountain kind of check out that field kind of hang out around there and then see if anything kicks all right fam we got one fired up heading along this ridge it's kind of down but the, gotta get the wind right so gotta go down a different ridge then came up he's kind of back where i came up so hopefully it's not a hunter but if it is, we'll hash it out. I actually saw, I think some guys are some liars. So we'll see if they're there or not. <laughs> All right, let's see if we can locate them. Just faintly can hear him. Barely off, so I, I still got ways to go. Oh my gosh. I just saw a big old bull. He was over on the other hillside. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna sneak down and go across to him. And uh and he was just I switched out my GoPro battery because I was like, I wanna get this on footage. And then all of a sudden he was right there, 60 yards away on this open face. And oh my, beautiful bull, beautiful. I didn't hear him run away, but I think I called wrong and he, he felt like something was off. See if I can get him still. Over there still bugling it's actually bugling to my cow calls so i don't think that's gonna have him come in but I, I can locate him with the cow calls so super thick like from my thighs down just absolutely soaked so i'm gonna keep sneaking in on him he's been responding to cow calls Dang turd ran right through here. It's as fresh as it gets. Sticking to my boot. Gosh dang you, GoPro, I hate you. It keeps running away. I don't know if this is luck or just what, but came around the corner. You can see how thick it is. I thought I saw something down below running. It's just a flicker. And uh, anyways, looking down and then all of a sudden he made me, he was probably 50 yards up the hill. He ran, he went over this little finger ridge. He's, he's bugling still, so I'm on 
his trail. Fresh poop everywhere, so he's, he's fired up. I don't think he's completely made out who I am. The wind's been in my favor, and uh, also just this thickness. It's hard to make out whatever, you know, is walking through. So, we'll see if we can get him going again. I'm on the hike out, and I don't know. I was just going to let this guy go until the afternoon, maybe. Get back on him, see if he's up a little higher. Cause he's, but he's still bugling. He just bugled, but he's facing the other way. I could barely hear him. How you can tell you're an elk. There's a nice big old scrape fresh down there in their beds. Booyah. Alrighty, fam. Um, we're just getting done with lunch. Well, lunch and nap. It's uh, 3.30. About to go get after it again. See if I can see if I can see if I see if I see if I can get a bull fired up. Got the camo on. Be a little more conspicuous. I don't think that other bull saw me. He was fired up till 12 and uh yeah, so there to, I think he's rotten. He was all by himself, so I'm like, I need to find his cows, kinda cut them off. So be on the lookout and check back when there's some action. So look what I just walked up on. Came through that little way right there. Looks like a little moose leg. I'm gonna go through there, see if we can find the rest. Well, I don't know where that uh, moose leg came from, but be interesting to see if it was a predator kill or a hunter kill. But sent them some thick stuff. Maybe just a coyote dragged it over. I don't know. So we're gonna keep going. Just keep hunting. This guy didn't want that tree, that tree, that tree, that tree, that tree. He wanted that tree to scrape. Big boy. All right, so I'm kind of just posted up right now. I'm gonna be here until the sun goes down. And then I'll probably jump over right before last, very last light um, to the next basin. Um, there's a saddle right here. If you watch the trail cameras video, this is where they popped out. They're right next to that tree over there. So I'm hoping that I can stick one and um, yeah, let's just hope they pop out. Okay guys. Um, Final update for day one. The elk did not bugle at all. Um, didn't see any elk the evening, so a little bit of a bummer, but we're gonna go out, do a little different tactic tomorrow, see if we can get on him from from below, get him fired up again, and uh, let's see if we can get some good luck going. So we'll catch you in the morning. Bye. All right, fam, it's the morning to day two on the hike in, just left the truck. Super cold this morning. Uh, truck, truck was all iced up and the uh, well, grass is all frosted, so a little chilly, but uh, we're in it. It's a little antsy. The sky's already a little blue, so we're running a little late, but plan of attack this morning is kind of from the bottom. And I'll come back up on the ridge that I met him yesterday. See if I can pick any up a little, even in lower elevation, down a little more in the timber. So we'll catch you back in a second. Booyah.
kind of bad footage, but Spike just snuck in on me about 40 yards. He spooked off, but then I called him back in. He might have got my wing because he went down. And then he came back. He walked up and kind of walked away. But he's not that far away still. Well, clouds have really sunken in today. No bugles as of yet. Makes me a little nervous. But get to the top of this ridge. Watch just behind these spruces and let out a bugle, see if I can hear anything. We'll see. Oh, that same turd is still uh, bugling down in that hole. I don't think I'm gonna chase him today. I want to, because he's massive, but uh, he just was running. I mean, he wasn't even, he was just, you know, they're, he's probably just walking slowly, but a lot faster than I can walk and through all that thick stuff, it just, it's not quite worth it. So keep working up this ridge, see if I can get another one bugling before it gets too late and see what happens. you guys do. He's not moving. He's uh, just hanging out down in there. I mean, you saw the video from yesterday. It's thick. It's too thick. I need to pull him out somehow. Is he answering the calls? Cow calls and bugles. So we hiked about a thousand feet up and a quarter mile over or so, and he's still over there bugling. Well, fam, um, since the only bull that's bugling is down in the deepest, darkest hole and not even budging to come out, I think I'm gonna go try spot B this afternoon. And then if spot B doesn't pan out this evening, um, try spot C. So, we'll see. All right.
catch you in a little bit. Alrighty fam, said I was gonna move to spot B, but uh, still just snacking on lunch. Thought I'd show you what I packed for lunch on a typical hike or a day uh, hunt. Usually try to bring a thing of applesauce. It's kind of bulky, but um, it's just a just a little some, little fruit, you know. Try to mix it up a little bit. Try to bring a bar of some sort. So recently, been using Nature's Bakery bars we get at Sam's Club. Um, some wheat thins. I already ate most of my lunch, so you don't get to see how many there were, I guess. But, you know, quarter bag, um, dried mangoes, kind of goes with the applesauce. I mean, I actually like dried mangoes, kind of like candy. Um, but some kind of good natural sugars. And then a peanut butter jelly sandwich. What I get, what I've kind of learned over the years, what I get is, you know, just a loaf of bread. And then they sell like squeeze things of of jelly and what I just learned like two days ago grocery shopping for this time is they sell like squeeze things of peanut butter so just kind of snap those clothes and you don't even need a knife it's super nice and then uh, sometimes if I'm not going you know too crazy I uh I didn't today, but I, I usually bring like a body armor to uh, just kind of get the electrolytes back. And uh, and then today, I don't normally do this, but we had like a bunch of uh, Sour Patch and high chews at the house. So packed those to bring and had a few, but want to save some for later. So there's those. Other than that, just kind of enjoying the views and enjoying outside and all the sounds and might close my eyes for a little bit, just take a little break and then I'll actually go to option or spot number two. So thanks for following along. Like and subscribe and uh, we're going to get the content coming. I hope you like that uh, moose footage, pretty cool. I was hiking in, or hiking out, 
and that guy started grunting at me. And I was like, is that a, a bull just like barking? And I was like, no. So I got out my camera and got some good footage of him. At least I thought. Looks like the, you know, the screen's kind of small, hard to say, but pretty cool stuff. And not a bad moose, not a bad shears for Idaho. I would have shot that one. Well, he would have dropped. But uh gonna get out of here and move spots. Sun's moving in the right direction. Alright, plan B is in effect. New spot, you know, just 30 minutes away. I uh, found elk here two years ago. I think my first season elk hunting in this unit zone. And uh, so I'm gonna go see if they're still there. Not, they're not bugling. Um, you no, know, solo hunting is honestly not not my thing. I uh, guess I don't like. I like hunting with other people, and so I actually might call it tonight if I don't hear any bugles. And uh, we're going down to Utah here soon, so there we're going to be hunting with Nick and Liam and Hans and a bunch of bunch of guys kind of reuniting and so that should be fun and we'll uh but let's see what happens tonight i hope we'll find them so catch you in a little bit all righty about three quarters of a mile in it's been nice and steadily increasing my plan is to go about a mile in and then go up on this hillside and then work my way back there. I mean, that f the top is not exactly flat, but I think on the far side we can find elk. So that's the hope and the dream. We'll see if those dreams are realized or if they're just made up. Dreams aren't made up, but not true. So, man, look at that tree, giant. Super thick area. Man, I'm glad there's a little bit of a trail to walk, otherwise it would just be bushwhacking for a while. Oh, much preferred. If you can find a trail up top too, that'd be great. Thank you, boy. one definitely one of the steeper hills climbed it's like only 400 feet but it's gonna take me an hour well no it's like 800 six or 800 but it's a doozy straight up and down here i'll hold you level that's about level looks like one to one on the little squares on the screen but beautiful country they're in here. All right, I finally made it into the elk sanctuary. It's all open and grassy up here. And uh, I had to climb like a 10 foot rock face right there. <clears throat> Felt like a, like a border wall almost. So I haven't heard any bugles, but there may only be one bull on the mountain, no need to bugle. We'll see. It looks like prime time, like air zone. And there is actually like elk sign all down that mountain. So it's like they've been crossing back and forth. But I imagine they like to be up here during the day, hanging out. And then like, especially with the rain recently, like they'll just, uh, sit up here and eat the dew. So, super tired. Kind of waiting for the wind to switch because it's been going uphill. So I know this whole area is probably the 
nothing should be in here with my wind going up, but I'm gonna work my way down back to the truck. I think we got, you know, a mile of bushwhacking. I've kind of figured up here in the mountains, my pace is about a mile an hour. So if I wanna get anywhere, it's gonna take an hour. So we're just gonna keep going. Sorry, my head's all sweaty and crazy. So let's see if we get in some action. They've been moving through. Doesn't this look like elk paradise? <laughs> Excuse me. Beautiful spot. They're in here. All right, the GoPro's on. We just got a bugle over there. So, got you on my shoulder now because we got rid of the frame pack just for this hike. Let's see if we can. cow butt I think I saw and then he did like a little like whiny bugle and then he uh they're way over there now I'm just gonna work my way down I think that's the way I'm gonna actually I gotta go to get to the truck so we'll get them they can't get away some little tiny scrapes on the aspens right here These ones might not even be from this year. Unless I feel like the park would be redder. I don't know. Well, they totally stopped calling and they ran the way that I'm heading out, so. I mean, I might run into them still, but I doubt it. They totally just took off. That one little cow. Saw that little cow butt running. Not running, it was like jogging. He called or bugled back to me. <clears throat> and then he said, Mwah. let's go. And I don't even know how many there were, but they're gone. I'll catch you up if we get back into them. I need to get back to the truck. I don't know what happened here, but another one exactly like it up in the middle of that field up there but it's just like all all the grass is just torn up crazy that's yeah, weird I haven't really found a spot like that before like a horn but I need to wash my hands now all right guys well it's a wrap to this video and a wrap to elk season 
Um, I gave it my all and kind of came out on the short end of the stick. Definitely going to be honing my skills and um, time rolls around next year. Hopefully we'll have some more skills up in the book and uh, ready to rock. I think ultimately, I don't know, maybe it's more patience, more quietness. One of the two. I think I spooked. Let's see. Spooked those elk just now. Yesterday. Spooked. I don't know if I spooked him. GoPro decided that it wasn't going to wait for me to end my remarks. So anyways, I was just saying maybe be a little more patient, more like quiet. Spook those ones, but I'm like, those are the ones I spooked. I was going to say, just be more aware of kind of where the elk are at and which way they're moving before I start moving. I think sometimes I'm like, oh, there's one bugle. They must be right there. They're not going to move. Where I would go try to cut them off and then they would be there. And that's where I, they got spooked. But I think that's the last time for this unit, maybe for a little bit. Um, go try out some rifle hunting mix next year. And then, uh, yeah. So thanks for watching, like, and subscribe and, you know, stay safe out there in the upwoods. Catch you next time. Love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running I always take what I want and I always give it 100 Don't need a bank, no I'm funded Play the game like it's nothing I'm always thankful for something Don't take for granted, stay humble Now wake up! It's time to look at the enemy